Hello viewers, welcome to the unboxing and test video for the Mezi RC13 Voice Air Mouse Keyboard. This is a higher end version of the Mezi lineup of uh, flying air mouses. Uh, and uh, this particular model is like the previous models, it features a 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmitter receiver remote. And uh, in addition, this one supports a lot a combination a lot more features such as mouse keyboard speakers phone functionality and headphones so uh, let me turn the box to the side uh, looks uh, a lot different than some of the other models we've uh, unboxed it has a microphone input on the bottom there uh, we'll show you the real uh, device in a moment uh, let me just show that it's compatible number of OS's as you can see um, and wireless speaker Skype phone wireless keyboard gyroscope air mouse really really nice awesome set of features um, and uh, the usual in the back it just shows you that uh, uses it with your TV and um, supports voice functionality and uh, supports a smart TV PC notebook and Android TV box so let's open it up and uh, have a look inside, see what's included uh, in this part one. In part two, we would do a more thorough uh, test uh, as we uh, learn a little bit more about the device. And this uh, is actually a little difficult to pull out. Let me uh, tug on this a little bit more. Oh, here it goes. And. Um, wrapped in bubble wrap like all the other uh, Mezi models um, looks about the same size as uh, one of the RC11s and RC12s the manual uh, cable charger cable and battery notice this is not your um, typical uh, AA batteries so as our first look at the device let me flip this over uh, we can see that it uh, has a lot of the same buttons as you would have seen in some of the other Mezi models. Um, and wh what's special is it has the speaker over here and the light, the LED lights are still over on the edge. Um, the mouse and buttons and the gyroscope uh, trigger uh, button uh, is over on the side. There's a new audio button over here. Um, there's a speaker uh, control here um, and it has your power button and a bunch of other nice uh, buttons uh, such as your uh, mail your music uh, your uh, volume control for your uh, Android device also present there um, so um, I think it's a pretty complete device with uh, a number of features uh, that support a number of operating systems. Um, let's uh, look at this battery. It's a lithium ion battery. It's different than your double uh, A's we normally find. Here's a, looks like a charger cable. So I guess you can uh, plug this into your computer and plug that into your remote and charge it up so no more replaceable batteries um, most likely the reason t for the switch is uh, when you're going to be using this as a a phone or uh, using a lot of the mic and speaker you're going to need the uh, battery power so this USB plug makes it easy to plug into computer or a USB charger and charge up the device so let's uh, take a quick look at what kind of uh, it's 800 milliamp hours of BL5C type battery, 3.7 volts, uh, charge volts. Um, manual is um, a typical manual, not very big at all. Uh, isn't that much to read, but I, I, it looks like it goes over the functions of the device, uh, the product features mentioned Skype phone function which is good to know um, should work in Skype lets you should let you call and uh, talk uh, away from your uh, TV which would be a nice functionality to have um, we um, 
Uh, here's a, a picture showing how you would hold the device. Um, so let's uh, let's pull let's uh, pull the cover off on the back and uh, pull the, put the batteries inside and uh, see what we get out of it. So um, in part two, like I said, we, we would do a full test with a real Android TV stick and um, show you what we find out. So uh, I, I believe this is an awesome featured high-end uh, device and um, hopefully we'll be all impressed with it. So be sure to watch uh, part two. Uh, battery is uh, really nice and small. Uh, let me see, I probably will need a screwdriver to pry the cover off of the back. Let me see if I can find one here. And let me just pry that. Uh, it's gonna might need to take this offline. And let me just show the prying step. Uh, it's actually really in tight. Um, all right, so we've pried it open, and as I remove the cover, we see that uh, there's a very big USB receiver, uh, which we'll use on the Android TV stick, and there's a slot for the battery. It looks like there's two connectors. Um, when the battery, we see three contacts. Um, but that would be the orientation we would put the battery in. And um, battery is in. Let me pull the USB receiver out. We'll need that for the test. And uh, I guess we're good to close the cover. So let's just close the cover and take a look at the uh, remote. Let's see uh, if uh, everything is pretty much the same as our other Meezy uh, remotes. And uh, there's a headphone jack right there if we want to listen to the audio. Okay, so um, feels solid and uh, doesn't add any real weight using the uh, battery. Uh, let me click tap the uh, buttons here and uh, the mouse buttons are right here and if you click on the buttons uh, you get your uh, normal blinking LED. Um, and and uh, some of these buttons, if you click the audio button, it lights up solid. Uh, and the other button is for the uh, speaker, and that just blinks. So uh, be sure to watch part two. We'll do an in-depth test. Um, you don't want to miss it. Here's a USB receiver, pretty large compared to the other models, but um, should work well. Um, please tap the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll be doing more Android videos, so uh, you don't want to miss it. Please subscribe so you don't miss out. And uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.